Hello and welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom. And the other day I was just looking around and I run across this uh, Instapot AccuSlim here. And I never had seen one before. I tell you the truth, I didn't know, know Instapot made one. And so uh, I had to have it because I've been, I've been wanting to try some sous vide stuff. And I tried one steak one time just in the uh, Instapot by itself. But this this machine right here, it looks like it'd do a whole lot better job. I don't know if it will or not, but we're going to find out. So we're just going to run a little experiment today and see how it works. Okay, now this is my inner uh, pot out of my Instant Pot. And it says you can use this. Now if you don't have one of these, it says you can use a, uh, a large stock pot or something like that, you know, just as long as it's deep enough to to hold the thing. This is what it looks like when it's out of the box and you got your I've never turned it on so I don't know what it looks like but this is the, the top of it. I don't know if you can see that too good or not but anyway it's got little minuses and pluses there and stuff like that. And so the way you're supposed to do it I think you just unscrew it like this with this little thumb nut here. Put it down in your instant pot and it stops and it just so happens it stops right before it hits the bottom which is what it's supposed to do because it's not you're not supposed to from what I understand now I don't know as much as I should about this yet but from what I understand it's not supposed to sit on the bottom of your pot so and lo and behold like I said this is just barely up a little bit away from the uh, bottom Okay, yeah, you now, now I put my fingers underneath it in between the bottom of it and the pot. Well, I don't reckon as you used to tighten it up with so, so much, I don't reckon it runs away from you or anything. So now the next thing we're going to do, oh, by the way, it's got little marks on here. They're too small to see with the camera. But you got little marks on here. You got your minimum and maximum for your water. So, the thing I want to experiment with, I was really surprised when I opened the book, and it's, it's got quite a bit of uh, good information in here, in this book, you know, frequently asked questions, seasoning and suggestions, and, and uh, stuff like that, but I was thumbing through it, and it said eggs, <laughs> so I thought, how are you going to cook an egg in, in sous vide? So, it told me, so I'm going to put I'm going to put enough water in there to uh, to up to the maximum, and then I'm going to put some eggs in there, and we'll go see what happens. Okay, now I put 20 cups out of this uh, Pyrex measuring cup here down in there, so. That's how much water it took. Now that's not up to the uh, maximum mark. The maximum mark is right there. If you can see any of that, I can't see my camera lens. But uh, it's not up to the maximum mark. But the idea is you don't want it up there because you're going to put your food in there and that's going to raise the level some too. But now we're just going to do a couple of boiled eggs. So it's not going to take that much for us. So we'll see what we need to do next. Okay now, okay now. Here's the, this is the book that came with this thing, and it looks to me like it's about to run out of ink. There, they didn't want you to really know what was going on one or the other, because I have to get out my specs to read that. But it's, it starts out. Let me get back here. It starts out saying, if you want it runny, it's 145 degrees for 45 minutes. If you want it just set, it's 150 degrees for 45 minutes. If you want it medium, it's 155 degrees for 45 minutes. And it says soft boiled is 164 degrees for 45 minutes. I think that's what I'm going to go for is a soft boiled on there and we see how that turns out. So now i got to figure out how to turn it on. Okay, I need to go to 164 degrees. So you hit your plus button here and it runs but just if you touch it it starts going up and so 
All right, we're at 164. Now we'll hit the uh, mode button again. Okay, that puts the time down here. Okay, now we want the minus button because we're going to go down to 45 minutes. Okay, now. Okay, now this water temperature here is 78 degrees and it's on. Now let's go start counting. Let's go start warming this water up because I don't know if you can tell on this camera or not, but that water is circulating a little bit. Or not a little bit, but quite a bit. Water circulating and it's warming up, I assume. So we'll be back in a minute when it starts warming up more. <laughs> Okay, now it's up to 102. <clears throat> now it's been about 10 or 12 minutes since I started this thing. And I was thinking a while ago, this sure was a lot of trouble for a boiled egg, you know. <laughs> but we're just running an experiment today. I just want to see how it does. I want you to see how it does too. But I can see in the future we'll go have a lot of good fun with uh, some steaks and some, uh, some uh, chicken and maybe even pork chop or two. So we'll be trying those a little bit later on. So it shouldn't take it too much longer now to heat up that 165. Okay, now it's just got a couple of degrees to go here, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop these eggs down there. I'm gonna use a spoon here, a slot of spoon. Put them down in there real easy. Now this is just like everything else around the kitchen and the stove and all that stuff. You have to be extremely cautious with children around this thing because this is very hot. Well, it's 163 degrees right now. It's going to rise another one, at least one or two more. <laughs> and so you have to make sure it's somewhere where your children can't touch it. Okay, now there it is. It's starting to count down from the 45 minutes. So we'll see. According to what I've heard, this is supposed to have a real velvety yellow to it. So we'll see when we crack them open. So we'll be back. Okay, now I want to do like everybody else does. I'll stick a, one of these little pin thermometers down here and see how accurate or how close they are to each other. I don't mean one is more accurate than the other, but... Okay, the little pin thermometer stopped at 165. So that's that's pretty close. <laughs> pretty close to the same temperature, so, so... I don't know who could say was right, but I guess you could get two or three more thermometers and try it if you wanted to. Well, I've got a second. If y'all can, join our channel and give us a thumbs up. We sure would appreciate it. And we sure would appreciate all you people watching our videos. It means a lot to us. And if you see something you like on our videos, more than likely you can find in the links down below at Amazon. So give it a look sometime. Okay, now these eggs are okay. Now these eggs are down to one minute here. I'm gonna get me some ice water so I can drop them in it. Like I said, this was a lot of trouble for a couple of boiled eggs, but <clears throat> we're really just experimenting with it just to see how they'll do. You know, I'm betting they'll be pretty good. All right, it says done. So now, I guess I might as well just unplug the uh, instant pot cooker here. Let's see if I can get these over here without burning myself. What do you think? You think they're done? <laughs> All right, now I'm going to let them sit there for about five minutes to cool off and then I'm going to Break it open and we'll see what we got. 
Okay, now I'm going <clears> to <throat> tell you what's the truth. I really don't know what to expect here. So I'm going to just crack one of them. But I see it didn't come all running out on me everywhere, so. <laughs> And now see how it peels here. Well, it ain't peeling the greatest in the world, I can tell you that. But now it did say soft boil. And I really, like I said, I really didn't know what to expect. And I still don't know what to expect. I say I really don't know how to get a soft boiled egg out of shell. So, so if any of y'all has any advice, you can let me know. So that's a mystery to me. But you can see it's turning it up pretty good. The shell's hanging on to it. Some of it's coming off, but well, it's starting to come off better and better. Away there. Don't want to get down in the yellow yet. All right. Now, definitely salt and pepper. <laughs> I guess I really should have thought this through better before I started because like I said I really don't have no idea how to get into a soft boiled egg without really messing it up. So let's see what it looks like on the inside here. They said it was a real velvety yellow. Looks like it's pretty firm to me. Now see, I don't understand how the yellow could be firm like this and the white's not real firm. But now it's got a great taste to it. It sure does. I don't know how it could taste any better than any other boiled egg, but it's got a different flavor to it. I'm going to tell you right now, <clears throat> it tastes good enough to where this one's going to be following that one right away. So, <laughs> thanks a lot for y'all watching our videos. We, I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. We have a lot of fun with these videos and I hope you enjoy it too. <clears throat> so until next time, y'all have a real good and safe day. And uh, come back and see us as soon as you can. Give us a thumbs up and join our channel if you can. And so until next time, goodbye now.